hell yeah, we gonna be chilling here. This my, this my shit, oh tell her you're not my bitch. This my, this my shit, oh tell her get off my dick. Itchy dash, nitro gas, time is passing, quick, 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 quick. I just want tonight to last, life go fast, it tick, tick. Good morning, everybody. It is currently four in the morning right now. Me and Sarah are going on vacation. We're going to Tell the Dragon and a few other places, hopefully, if the weather allows it. And uh, yeah, really, it's just gonna be a big road trip. So let's get on the road. Just please, I'm gonna show you guys what it takes to get to this place because it's pretty fucking ridiculous. This is probably a 20 to 30 degree decline. Can't even really tell on camera. It doesn't do it justice. Really? But good God, I feel bad for the clutch in this car now. But anyways, yeah, we got this whole place to ourselves. Wow, this is cozy as fuck. Yeah. Hang on, let's let's get some lights on in this bitch. Ooh. Oh, this is dope. Oh, I'm vibing. I'm vibing so much. Oh, hell yeah. We gonna be chilling here. There's a mountain. There is a mountain. <laughs> we got charcoal. Yeah, there's a whole thing of charcoal. Oh, cool. We, can grill those we got a time. grill. Oh, we got we got some some rocking chairs. This is pretty cool. You can grill me a steak tonight. Yeah. Oh, look at the mountain. Well, that's it for this place. Pretty cool. Nice little cozy setup. We're gonna unpack, start making dinner, and I guess tomorrow we'll be at Tale of the Dragon. Good morning. <laughs> the coffee's getting better. That's not as bad as it was originally. After sitting out here for approximately 15 seconds, I started to think, how many birds can there be in one place? <laughs> I have heard probably 10 plus different bird calls, like bird sounds, including woodpeckers. See, it's like it's like half it's like half the amount of birds right now than what it was directly before I turned the camera on I don't know what happened but I guess some of them decided that they were going to bed or they just weren't gonna be making noises anymore so anyways the agenda for today is we're gonna be going to tail of the dragon uh, hopefully get there by like 10 a.m. so that way we can get some decent runs in we were informed by Justin at Atlanta custom wraps that the earlier you get there the better of course but then also the fact that it's supposed to be like a 50% chance of rain today, even though the sky is pretty clear. So that just means that we're not going to have any bikers out there. So that immediately eliminates like 50% of the traffic. So it should be a pretty good day out there as long as it doesn't rain. And after that, we're going to Anakista, which has like, so what is it? Floating bridges? Yeah. It has floating bridges. That's all I really know about it. It's an amusement park in the trees. In the trees. Yes, so we're going to be like Tarzan. Yeah. All right, cool. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to be raining for most of the day, and we don't know what we're gonna do yet, so we'll figure that out, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna finish my coffee, and then we'll be on our way to Tell the Dragon. The only reason I'm recording right now is to show you guys how steep this fucking driveway actually is. It's steep enough to where it makes you kind of think like, wow, could we actually tip over? It's so steep that you have to have a purpose whenever you're driving up it because like you can't stop in the middle of it and be like hmm which way do i go because i did that last night mm -hmm. and i feel kind of bad for what i did to my clutch after that <laughs> you don't even need the gas pedal all right time to 
get out of here. To the tail we go. Ooh, today's gonna be a good day. The weather is really nice for this right now, honestly. Like, it is almost perfect. Also, coming in yesterday, I was so fucking tired of driving that, honestly, I was just not in the mood to appreciate some nice roads. What? That way. Oh, we go that way. Ooh, what a beautiful ass road to start on. <laughs> Shit. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. So it's like 48 degrees outside. It's still really early, so the road's got some dew on them. But this is honestly like pretty perfect conditions. Somebody hit me with a car. <laughs> there we go. Now we're actually at Tail of the Dragon. This is where it begins, is right here. Deals Gap. Everything from this point forward for like 11, I think, miles, there's not a single road that comes onto it. You have the road completely to yourself. taking the Z through this. <laughs> oh, I would fucking cream everywhere. I would have to, I'd have to power wash the inside of that car. What? It's a gross. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm actually impressed with how this car feels in here. The S550 Mustangs are obviously not geared towards autocross. I've taken this car to autocross, and honestly, it did not handle as I would have expected. I thought it would have been better. It's not a very technical car. Like, the Z is a very technical car at the moment because it's extremely touchy, extremely sensitive. It's not smooth. But this one, however, the throttle input's a lot more gentle. Um, the suspension's a lot softer. It's got the ability to handle longer curves and keep traction probably a bit better than the Z does. So for this, Tail of the Dragon, this car works extremely well for it. I'm actually surprised at how well it's doing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not pushing it very hard at all. I'm barely driving the car, but I'm still impressed with the little bit that it is doing because the car does just, like, I feel very, very confident in this car. It seems like a very easy car to control. And it, it is a very easy car to control because of the uh, the advanced track. It keeps you from slipping out too much. It helps you control the vehicle, but like the steering is also pretty impressive. And with only having 255s on the front of the car, it's really not bad either. Very surprising. Let's try second. I've been in third gear the whole time. Yeah, because it echoes. Corsa, by the way, thank you for the exhaust. It makes this driving experience so much more pleasant. And the brakes on this car are also quite impressive. The Brembos, ooh, top notch. I'm jealous that the Z doesn't have these. Oh, we're catching up to somebody. It's that same slow ass Corvette that I saw earlier. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna, I'll just stop and I'll let him get ahead a bit. <sighs> Ooh, I can smell the brakes. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna drink your water. We got more. <laughs> Damn, there's really, just, usually you can't just stop in the middle of the road like this most of the time. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh, we got somebody coming. Yeah, I'm just waiting for someone to come over here. Let him go by. Try and keep up with him. I'm gonna try and keep up with him. 
keep up with a Miata. Quick little fucker. He's pushing through them turns. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I found the limit of the tires. It's incredibly predictable. And we're back with the Corvette. All right, cool. Hell yeah. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just sit and park right here. Yeah, Miatas are quick. People come up here in Miatas and like S2000s and Civics and they fuck it up. But I am so impressed with how this car is doing. Wow. I gotta look at the tires. I want to see how much heat the front tires are getting. Because I mean, they're they're scrubbing a little bit. It's not anything crazy, but you can hear them. Oh yeah, they're getting. Decently warm too. See how long it takes for us to catch up to him again. I think I might have found a purpose for this car. Mountain running? Yep. This is probably going to be my mountain car. The Z is my autocross and track car, 100%. But I think I've just decided the purpose for Payday. Payday is absolutely about to just be a mountain runner because it's a car that I can comfortably drive across the country if I need to, like we just did. And I can take it out here and it's going to perform and fucking slay the mountains because the mountains is one of the only places that I'll run the car for up to 10 to 20 minutes straight without it overheating potentially. And because of this car having an eight quart oil capacity, it takes a lot for the oil to get hot. And you can, of course, add some Mishimoto cooling to it and get some decent wheels and tires on here. And you don't even need to have a, a super fucking low, uh, stiff as hell track car to run in the mountains. Like this is on stock suspension with wheel spacers and it feels pretty great. Like, of course it could be better. I know it could be better, but for a stock car, I'm actually impressed with it. This is actually a very capable car for the mountains it feels like i'm impressed with it i like it a lot i actually feel like i have a direction for this car now damn in the view it's so hard not to just look off the side of the mountain while you're driving here come on get out and come look wow oh You remember the dam? Yeah. I sit right there. That's where we were earlier. This is awesome. That's one cool thing about this car is that you cannot get it to spin out. 
if you tried to you would have to turn every single thing off on the car for it to spin out but of course i have advanced track and sport i'm not going to turn it all the way off because i would hate to send this thing off a off the edge of a mountain all right well we're with some other cars whenever we get to the bottom of the mountain we'll turn around and we'll run through it again all right so we're at the base going the opposite direction now ready mm -hmm. let's get at it are we good yeah. i'm not going for like a personal best record time through the entire thing but i am trying to get a little bit more familiar with the car and see what it's capable of takes to get the oil temps up i want to see how much this car can actually be beat on before it starts to get hot so i'm just kind of kind of cruising the oil temps are going up but it's it's going up slow found the peak of how high the oil is going to get though without me just going full throttle most of the time I need a moment. I'm getting car sick. And I'm driving and I'm getting fucking car sick. <sighs> oh, I can smell the brakes. I'm gonna go look at the tires now. See what the tires look like. Cause I was pushing it a little bit more on that one. <laughs> oh, the tires are starting to actually melt a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm my, this is the first time I've probably ever actually gotten the tires up to temp. By the way, if you don't know what tires these are, these are actually Federal Evolution ST1s. I think they're like a 220 tread wear, or like 300 tread wear, or something like that. They're not bad. 300 tread wear, traction, AA, temperature A. They're 255, 40, 19s. I'm actually like fairly impressed. They take a lot of effort to get hot, but once they get hot, they're surprisingly consistent tires. And then the rear, oh, those are nice and sticky. Yeah, those are just some Pirellis. They're 200 tread wears. Damn. I'm impressed. Payday's doing well. Now it just needs to get faster. This thing's slow. This thing's real slow. That's cool. I love dams. So I'm gonna start making it a thing where every time we travel, I have a camera with me. We're gonna talk about the places that I eat. Coco. Coco Lodging, Coco Cat Tavern. Last time I came here, we got a burger. This time we got a pizza and some baked mac and cheese. And this shit slaps. And so does the view. 
the view slaps. The view slaps even harder than the food does. All right, just ate lunch. Before I was getting motion sickness a little bit. I don't know why. I haven't done that in the past, but anyways, figured maybe a little bit of food will help. I'd like to run through again one more time, but if I get car sick, it's definitely not gonna work. But anyways, we'll just go up and I'll see how far I can make it. And then maybe we'll go all the way through. Here we go. That's like a Z3 or a Z4. All right, we'll give him some space. Give him a minute. I'm impressed with this car. It's been handling surprisingly well. You cannot make this car oversteer. Like if you wanted to, it would not oversteer as long as you have the advanced track on. And it's a very nice feature. Also, it is going to understeer far earlier than it's gonna even come close to oversteering. So it's honestly, it's a surprisingly easy car to manage. Let's see how quick we catch up to him. Surprisingly, the S550 chassis is so smooth. Like input, coming into turns, and braking, it's just like, it's so predictable. love to get in the mountains with Gavin and his McLaren because I know that McLaren's fast and Gavin's familiar with it but like this Mustang is surprisingly easy for me to just push now that the tires are getting warmer and it's getting more consistent it's starting to slip a little bit but it's predictable so well and the braking god the brimbos do a great job i don't want any bikers coming in too hot
it transfers from left to right side very easily as well too. A lot of cars will kind of like pole vault over themselves whenever you go from a, a left to right turn very quickly. Um, and they kind of bounce the Z. Zoe has a really bad problem with that, but the Mustang is not bad at all. Ooh, a nice Porsche, bro. hear the brakes yeah. it's very interesting I've never heard that noise before on this car and chill again Whew. nice cylinder head temp is 214 not bad at all axle oil temp not bad at all IETs are 10 degrees above ambient temp that's not bad at all either I never thought I would be 
fucking chasing down a Ford Focus and a Mustang. <laughs> Got him in the straights, but he's doing pretty good in the turns. This is, see, this is something that's really cool about Tell the Dragon or doing any sort of road course stuff that's not drag racing. I hate to talk shit on drag racing because drag racing is fun, but like you can't competitively race and chase somebody for 10 straight minutes <laughs> whenever you're drag racing. You got 10 seconds of either being in front, next to, or behind. That's about it. are still doing pretty good coolant temps are great of course Yikes. <laughs> and wait. Yikes. Oh man. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> and they got three of us. Oh no. Damn, this has been a hell of a trip so far. Made it through Tell the Dragon like three or four times, got pulled over, and then get to the bottom of the mountain and throw up everywhere. Y'all didn't see the last part. That's gonna be it for this video. Tell the Dragon. Hell yeah. Payday's getting built to be a mountain dominator and uh I'm sure we'll be back sometime very soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time.